Hello, I'm Rodeo. Uh, I'm directing the White Room, and you are. Cut. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was fucking awful. <laughs> I won't go in front of cameras. You should go first, and then. I'll shooting the scene where we have this table laid out and Ashley, he's sitting at the end of it and there's loads of these folders laid out on the table with like case files and Polaroids of dead people um, and Jane is, she's here, she's coming up to him and she's like, Ashley, Ashley, but he's dead and she realises and she's like, Whoa! because she's in this white room and it's a really weird space that she doesn't understand because it's purgatory and she doesn't know that yet. Yeah, it's been really, really fun and a really creative environment. And um, uh, Rodeo, the director, has been really fantastic to work with, along with the rest of the crew. So I'm really happy to be here and spreading my creative, artistic wings. Mm -hmm. Are you spreading your creative, artistic wings? Oh yeah, yeah. flapping all over the place. Feathers, <laughs> feathers flying everywhere. I got to put in contact lenses for the first time in my life, and let me tell you, it's not pleasant. It's quite traumatic, actually. Okay, we're just setting up to film the opening shot of the film, which is um, Jane looking into the eyes of her dead body. Um, it's quite a powerful scene. We're just gonna um, do a clean shot of her in the real world, and then we're going to get her into makeup and make her look dead, and then do the same shot. It's gonna reverse angle, and it's gonna make the effect that she's looking into the eyes of herself. And your, did your next scene when um, the guy... Mark the was a police officer and he got frustrated um, working on this one particular case and he quit the force and became a private detective. And uh, he's pursuing this one case which was never resolved and uh, that brings him to the white room. So the idea of the film is to have some dead makeup, so we're doing like greys and lots of like solo faces and then we've got some nice wounds as well. So we've got bullet holes and we've got a slit throat, so it's really exciting and fun. Right, so I'm gonna to talk to you about my directing techniques. Um, I have one main technique which I like to use most. On set, once we've figured out the performance and all the blocking and everything, and they're really in the zone, usually I just kind of let them stew mm -hmm. um, and they come out with great performances. So if you do a really long take, so if you're just watching them doing some crazy emotional shit, you just tell them to take their time and they can carry on going as much as they want. And if you just leave it for a really long time, they generally come out with much better performances than if you just say, can you tweak this a bit? Another one. Can you tweak this a bit? Another one. You should just let them stew, leave them trapped inside their own minds, and they come out with wonderful things. Probably because they're worried they're not making it big enough because we're not saying anything. So they make it bigger! Today we've been doing a whole bunch of stuff in the white room itself, uh, which has been pretty, pretty straightforward, although having lots of like reflective surfaces has made it a bit tricky. Set 13, scene 16, take 3. It's much nicer to record here because there's less horrible reverb, um, there's less noise from the actual building. Like the last building was quite, it was an industrial building and there's a lot of noise. Here, no, it's lovely. All right, there's two spiders. There's three. Can you stand inside, please? <laughs> Stop. Is it, is it Stop. In? Yep, sir. Oh, okay, moral of the story, it's late on the second day, third day of shooting and I'm a little delirious, but in a really great way. Um, and um, I'm excited for you guys to see all the special effects because it's gonna be really awesome and believable. And you're gonna be like, when you see me on the street, don't go near that woman because she is batshit crazy and she might kill you. And that's my goal, for you to think that I will kill you and cut up your penis. <laughs>
this is how I talk. My name is Will and today I am camera assistant and tomorrow, oh wait, 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 I can't say that because it doesn't really matter. Does it? No one's going to know what day it is, are they? Uh, my name is Will and uh, I am camera assistant and steady cam operator. Oh, I can't say that, that can I? Why not? Because it looks really nice. Uh, does it look wrong? Excuse me, we're being interviewed. Ooh. <laughs> How did they hire you? Uh, cause I'm amazing and they got like, they got, um, I don't know, it's felt sorry for me, so. What scene are you most looking forward to working on? Uh. And describe the scene too, cause it's got something. Oh, the, the, uh, scene. Uh, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm excited to film all of it because uh, it's really good and it's a great opportunity to work with these guys. It's so amazing. Was that one massive fucking cop out? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the bitching, you haven't read the script. <laughs> I have read the script, but it was a long time ago. Okay. I did ask Sam. I said on yesterday, I said, "Oh, give me the script, bitch," and he was all. No, I think he does. Yeah. Ask me another question. No question. My hobbies consist of <laughs> <laughs> masturbating. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> uh, masturbating. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't. That's so bad. I really can't say that. <laughs> that's so shit. I can what? You can talk yourself up a little. Okay, so today I am directing. <laughs> I am. Producing, I am also editing while directing and filming everything at the same time. Because you know, I can do all that. Okay, so enjoy the white room, which is gonna be amazing, and we're gonna make us be famous.